Hello everybody, it's Aaron back from Screen Stars and I'm here once again to do another review for Geek Legion of Doom. And today I am reviewing the 2018 thriller movie The Grandson, also known as American Pets. Um, and it is due for release digitally, I believe, on the 14th of August. Now this is quite a stylized noir thriller in a lot of ways um, that tries very hard um, to be the talented Mr. Ripley. If you remember that movie, um, it was the Matt Damon movie, one of his earlier films. And this film constantly reminded me of that film. And the lead character, Todd, even looked like a young Matt Damon. He was blonde, he was good looking, um, and he was very, very manipulative and intelligent. So in a lot of ways, it, it just, it harpered back to the talent of Mr. Ripley for me. And what this film focused on was um, there are there is a brother and sister, um, and they basically live uh, what used to be their grandparent, their grandfather's house, who was a famous Hollywood actor. And uh, they they currently live with Leslie Ann Warren's character Judy, who was a former actress whose star has fallen and she like fronts like a shopping channel she's the host for a shopping channel that's losing its viewers and she's very close to being fired um, and Todd and his sister are quite privileged um, and you know they live they don't want for anything basically and Todd clearly doesn't want that to happen um, so a tragedy happens that may or may not be deliberate but basically um, what Todd has to do is to uh, to cover up a murder in order for him and his sister to continue to live their privileged lives. So he spends the whole movie covering his tracks and setting up somebody else for a murder in order for him to get away with it. Um, and that's the kind of gist of this story. Now, like I say, this film very very much like the talented Mr Ripley uh, the main character Todd was very manipulative very very intelligent always one step ahead of most people but that didn't stop him making stupid decisions um, for example when he commits a murder there's blood everywhere as you could imagine and um, he kind of moves the body then has a shower and then starts cleaning up the rest of the bloody bizarre decision if you were supposed to be so intelligent um, he, there's a gunshot when the murder's committed in the house and the house is never empty there's like there's a, there's a painter that's always there that's like painting the whole building again um, there's the gardener's always there there's the sister there there's always people there and this gunshot goes off and not one person hears it and there's no indication that there's nobody else there which again was bizarre so there's a few things happen in this film that they're trying to portray Todd as this really intellectual manipulating character but he makes some pretty dumb decisions also so it kind of contradicts his character so there's those issues with the movie that don't really work but the main issue with this film for me was it just a bit dull um, it looks pretty nice, pretty stylized, quite film noirish at times. Um, the acting's of a good standard. Uh, Riss Wakefield plays Todd, who I think has been in things like The Purge. Leslie Ann Warren um, does a fine job. She, she always puts in a good performance, generally speaking. And everyone else is fine in the movie too. There's nothing wrong with the performances and the way the film is filmed or anything. It's just, like I said, that it's a bit dull. Some of the dialogue's a bit cliched. Um, and it looks nice. But other than that, you just find yourself plodding through this movie, just watching this character, Todd, covering up his tracks and plotting this... Um, how he's going to get away with what he's done in order for him and his sister to continue to live their privileged lives. Um... For example, like I say, Leslie Ann Warren's character, who was fronting this um, shopping channel, when she can't turn up for work, he just turns up with his sister and says, oh, she's, she's going to present now. Um, and everyone just kind of buys it. 
nobody wants to see Leslie Ann Warren's character. Well, they do want to see her, but it can never produce her. No real questions are asked about that. They just kind of accept, oh, she's not here. Oh, she hasn't turned up for this meeting. Oh, she's ill. And at some point, you know, why was nobody asking real questions as she was, you know, so important as this, as this host? So there's, there, are, there is quite a few plot holes that don't make an awful lot of sense. I do think sometimes it's it's a little too over stylized. It's, um, you know, these long shots and I don't know. They, I think they try and be a bit too clever for their own good at times. And like I say, criminally, it's just, it's nothing more than what I've, what I've explained really. That's just the whole story. There's nothing else. There's no real twist turn put into the movie there's nothing like to continue to grab your attention once the film starts it's just all like I say, a little bit middle of the road and a little bit dull um, and it doesn't like I said there's nothing there to continually hold your interest so for me guys there's nothing majorly wrong with this film other than a few plot holes um, a few dumb decisions it's just dull and a little bit uninteresting and just not my kind of thing really um, and there's there's a there's a million other films out there like this that are much much better so from my perspective namely the talent of Mr Ripley so from my perspective guys this is very middle of the road so I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 it's well made well acted but um, not a particularly interesting movie to watch so um, once again guys I thank you very much for watching